We love our bananas. Ba, 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 na, 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 ba, 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 There are more than a thousand varieties across the world. Our favourite is this one, the Cavendish. But it might not be long before we never see it again. A deadly disease is spreading across the world. It's only a matter of time before it reaches Latin America, which exports 70% of the world's bananas. We're talking about an $8 billion industry at risk. The Panama disease is a fungus that destroys the banana's vascular system. So what happens is the banana loses its ability to absorb and use water, so it dies pretty quickly. It spreads through spores, contaminated water, or just simply workers who move from one plantation to another. The Cavendish is a single cultivated variety. They're basically clones, meaning every single Cavendish is genetically identical. They don't have seeds like other fruits and stem from just two other varieties. So if anything goes wrong, the whole crop disappears. But this isn't the first time we lost a banana to the Panama disease. Before the Cavendish, the Gros Michel used to be king. Yes, we have no banana. We have no Think of those words. The origin of this song is not exactly clear, but it's said to be inspired by a shortage brought on by the Panama disease, which completely wiped out the Gros Michel in the 1960s. Now, in order to prevent history from repeating itself, some countries around the world are trying to tackle the disease by crossbreeding two varieties to come up with one that will be resistant to the disease or genetically modifying a super resistant Cavendish. But whether there's hope is still a mystery. So enjoy them while you can.